Hands it to Richardson, wrapped up and dropped for another loss. LeVar Houston's turn. It's been a blessing for me, you know. I'd like to thank God, first of all, for giving me the opportunity and, and allowing me to stay here in this league because it's very tough. You know, when I first came in the league, all you would hear people tell you during the whole draft process and the rookie symposium is, oh, you know, guys only last two and a half years. Going on year six, I feel, still feel like a young guy, but, you know, the years are starting to rack up and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, maintain that uh, young body and make sure I can keep some longevity in this game. And it's just, it's, uh, it's nothing like it, you know, people on the outside in, you know, they enjoy the game when they watch, but, you know, being able to do it every week and, and have it as a job, it's, it's a great thing, it's amazing. During my time in Texas, it was, it, was, uh, it was the best time because we had a lot of guys who were already going to the league and Coach Brown kind of had us prepared to be NFL players, you know, the way he had us scheduled, the way he had us practice, the way he had us think, the way he had us respond to the media, the way he made sure that we prioritized our time. You know, it was a very league mentality. So, you know, Coach Brown really prepared us to, to have success in this league. And, you know, that's why we had great teams from 05 to, to 09, you know, going to the national championship twice and going to the Fiesta Bowl and going to the Holiday Bowl. You know, we prepared ourselves to, to be successful every day while we were at Texas. And I think that that really helped, you know, the guys that did get a chance to play in the league, it really helped them flourish. I think Coach Sterling is going to do a great job. I had the opportunity to meet him last spring, and I think that he's exactly what Texas needs right now. And I think he's going to be able to bring a lot of success to the program in the future. McElroy back to pass for the first time. Pressure coming. McElroy under pressure, and he will go down at the 20-yard line. Lamar Houston wraps him up. My favorite times is hanging with my friends uh, that I play with. And my senior year is probably the best year in Texas. Going 12-0 and then making it to the national championship was pretty, pretty sweet, you know. And that year, the year before that we should have went, but that year was a year that was like magic. You know, we knew where we were going, we knew what we wanted, and it was pretty much nothing that could stop us. So, you know, we were all brothers and we enjoyed the game and we had fun while we played. The brand of being a Longhorn is, is gonna be forever. And, you know, that symbol of Texas fight will always be with me. And, People still try and t turn the horns down, and I still turn the horns up for them. So, you know, it's something that's going to stick with me for the rest of my life. And it's, it's just as powerful to me in my mind as an NFL brand because, you know, a lot of people have respect for you all over Texas when you're a Texas Longhorn, when you're a Texas graduate, when you have the T ring, you know, that brings a lot of prestige with it. And you can open up a lot of doors with that. And I know that Texas is still the best university in, in the state of Texas. And it, and it, and it still brings a lot of notoriety when you carry that Longhorn somewhere around. The Longhorns pretty much are the pro team in Austin, and everybody recognizes you, everybody knows you, and Coach Brown and them always told us, you know, be mindful when you're out, because people are watching you, and it's the same thing here. You know, people recognize you, they're like, oh, Hillmar Houston, we just got you from the Raiders, you know, we we're happy you're here in Chicago, welcome to Chicago. You know, Monsters in the Midway, it has a very similar feel to being in Austin. You know, the fans are very friendly, they're very open, and they're very welcoming to you. So, that being said, I'm, I was, I'm happy I went to school in Texas, so I, I wasn't thrown off when I got to the league that people were gonna recognize you and people were gonna watch what you're doing. And like Coach Brown used to say, the eyes of Texas are upon you. And it's pretty much the same thing in the NFL and when you're in Chicago, especially because Chicago has five pro teams, and even out of all five pro teams, the Bears are, are the number one team in Chicago. So I've, I've been uh, getting familiar with the city, and I'm enjoying it, and I enjoy the fans here. The food's great, so it's uh, starting to feel like home. When I got hurt, you know, it was just like, ah, uh, you know, I got hurt. I laughed with the crowd, and that was laughing at me, and, you know, I just sat there. It was like, well, you know, this is kind of the year I'm having. This is, it's been rough, and, you know, it was my first sack and only sack of the year. And uh, after that, I immediately just started thinking ways to get better. I just kept studying things and, and, and asking more questions and trying to figure out how to get better, how to get better. Not only how to get better, the better to, but to keep my mind mentally in football. Because, you know, sitting out for a year, some people would think that you can kind of lose the timing of things. But, you know, I believe if you constantly watch something, you constantly put yourself in a mental mind state of doing something that it's kind of hard to lose it. 
Well, you know, I'm, I'm 26 weeks as of Thursday, and you know, I'm, I'm doing really well. I'm, I'm running. Um, I can do pretty much anything. I haven't had any setbacks, thank God. It's been a blessing for me. This whole process has, it's, uh, it's really helped me change the type of player that I was to become a better player that I'm going to be this year. And, um, you know, I hope that the opportunities that come this year, I'll be able to capitalize on them. But my knee's doing great. And it actually, it sounds crazy, but I couldn't ask for anything better to happen to me. <laughs> This whole process, I've really learned how powerful the mind is and you know what it takes to come back from something, and I think that's really important and it's gonna help me a lot in the future. 